In this video, I'll be showing you how to put dates, times, date and time in Visual Basic 6. So let's open up a standard EXE project. Okay. For now, we'll be using three text boxes. So let's make that right now. Clear the text inside the text box. For me, I just like to copy paste so that they're all about the same length. And number three. Okay. For now, we're going to put the code into the form load. So just double click in an empty space on the form to go to the private sub form load. Okay. For text one over here, text one, we'll be putting the now, or in other words, saying putting the date and time of the system clock. In text two, will be displaying the date and in text 3 will be displaying the time only okay so go back to the private sub form load the code starts off as uh, text1 text1 dot text is equal to now simple as that okay now text2 dot text is equal to remember we said text2 will be date so this date and then text 3, that text, well, obviously, time. Okay. So if we run this, it displays the now, or the date and time, the date, and the time. But if you look at the text 1 and text 3, the seconds aren't moving. Okay. To solve that problem, we must put in a timer. So go over here to the toolbar and add a timer to your form. Go to the properties, change the interval to 1000. Interval 1000 means 1 second, therefore interval 1 means 1 millisecond. So let's put in 1000 because seconds are in time. Okay, so go back to the timer, timer 1, double click to bring us to the private sub timer. Okay, so all we do is we cut and paste the two codes with the time. So cut and paste into the timer. So cut and then paste. So if you run this, the seconds should be working. There you go. Okay, so now we have the now, the date, and the time. But if you look at the date, it's in the format of mm slash bd slash yyyy. So what if we want to say, for instance, the abbreviation of the month? Okay, that coding is in format. So uh, well, let's format text2. Two. Text2 two is the one with the date. So go to the place where the code, where the text2 is, right here in form load. So text to dot text is equal to format open parentheses and then the object we are going to format so text to dot text comma open quote so we want the abbreviation of the month so three m's for month m m m space two day uh, two d's for days comma and then four y's one two three four for years and then close quote close parentheses to run this we should display the abbreviation of october there you go oct okay but what if you want the full spelling of the month all you have to do is just add another m make sure that the format here in the last part is four m's so run that and now it's the full spelling of the month okay so we have the now the formats and the time seconds okay for what if uh, maybe you want to retrieve information off a date for instance you want to retrieve the month of text 2 or the year of text 2 or the day of text 2 so here's the code for that but first we must put in three text boxes. 
the little small text boxes. Okay, clear the text and then copy paste. Okay. Okay, these three will be displaying. This one will be displaying the month. Text four. Text five will display the day. And text six will display the year. Text five, the days. Okay. So let's go to the coding. Let's go to the code window and find text two here. This is where we will put the code. The form load. So text. What did we say text what? Text 4 will be what? The month. So text4.text is equal to month, open parentheses, text2.text. So in the parentheses should be the object that you're going to retrieve from, the month you're going to retrieve from. Um, so text five is a uh, day. So text five dot text is equal to day. Well, you can also put in the parentheses now since that's what we are. That's what text two pretty much is. The system date. Okay. So text six dot text is equal to, and this one is year. So text two dot text. Close. So what should be displayed in text 4, 5, and 6 are 10, 10, and 210, 2010. There you go. There's the month, the day, and the year. And the same thing goes for time. You just copy these three text boxes. Control C, and then paste. No, no, and no. Okay. And we'll be doing this for time now. Okay. So this is nine, eight, seven. It's a countdown. All right, whatever. Okay. So we'd be putting it in the timer. So we want text. What is this? Text nine to display the the hours. So text nine dot text is equal to hour. And then what is this? This is text three, I believe. Yes, text three. So text three dot text close. And then text eight dot text should show the minutes. Minute. Open parentheses. You could put now, just like we did in uh, over here in text five. So now close parentheses. So text seven is seconds. Seven dot text is equal to second text three dot text and then close. So if we run this, we have ourselves the time. As you can see, the uh, hour is in uh, military time there. So if you don't want that, you could just put in a formula. If uh, you don't know the formula, it's uh, minus 12. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, timer. Okay. So if you don't want the military time, military hour, you just type in if. Uh, if, uh, what's this called? Text. Uh, nine dot text. Is greater than 12, then, and then, 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 let's put an else there. There we go. So, if text 9 dot text is greater than 12, then text 9 dot text is equal to text 9 dot 12, that text minus 12 and we'll, I forgot a crucial part here I'm supposed to put val open parentheses 
and close. So this should work. And oh, data type mismatch. Ah, okay. It shouldn't be in the what you call this. It should not be in the timer. It should be this code should be in change. So let's cut this code. Double click text nine to bring us to change and paste. Let's put in this code and this code back in. So if we run this, there you go. It's the formula. So it is two forty seven. So what this really pretty much does is the timer calls, it, it takes the time from the system clock, so the system clock for the hour in military time is 14. So it, the text 9 change reads that it's greater than 12, therefore text 9 will be subtracted by 12, making it time of the original time, the regular time and not military time. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So I've shown you the now, the date, the time, formatting of the date, retrieving the year, I mean the month, the day, the year, hours, minutes, seconds, and that's pretty much it. That's the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. And